Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're taking a look at what I think to be the best appendix rig holster out there right now. This, or I guess these, are the Flex Rig from McKinetech. Now, before we get going, the usual few notes. Number one, uh, I put links to everything that I talk about in my videos on the blog links page, and I link that in the video description somewhere down here. Number two, all the firearms that we're looking at in today's video have been safety checked and are unloaded, and we're in a space dedicated just for firearms. And number three, last but not least, this particular rig that we're looking at is for the Springfield Hellcat that we got from Brownells, but my thoughts will apply to basically every holster of this type from McKinetech. Now, incidentally, if you want to see more of the Hellcat, you can click on the links to the videos that are somewhere on your screen now to see those. Appendix carry has been my preferred carry method ever since I first tried it. I just find it more comfortable in basically every situation in my everyday life. Now, as such, when I have a firearm that I'm looking to carry, I generally always look for an appendix holster for it, and when I'm looking for that appendix holster, I almost always gravitate towards the full rig with an attached magazine holder. I find that this style of holster sits more securely on my belt, and it feels more stable or more resistant to moving out of place when I'm moving around. Sometimes, though, it can be a bit difficult to find holsters for certain guns, especially if they're not like the usual suspects for carry, you know, guns like the Glock 19 or the Sig P365, etc. I first experienced this with my Shield 45. There were tons of holsters available for the Shield 9, but basically nothing available for the Shield 45. And that's what led me to McKinetech. Now, just really quick before we keep moving, I want to make it really clear before we get into this holster that this is in no way sponsored by McKinetech. I pay my own money for the holsters that I buy from them, and they don't know that I'm making this video. So everything that you see is my opinion. So this is the McKinetech Flex Rig, and it's an appendix rig holster with a couple cool features. It's made out of two Kydex layers, like a lot of holsters out there, and each holster is molded to a particular weapon. The MSRP for the Flex Rig is $98, and shipping is about five bucks via USPS here in the United States. Now, some features of the Flex Rig. As you can see, it's got that attached mag carrier, which puts the back of magazine, you know, really close at hand. The mag carrier and the holster are held together by this elastic shock cord down the middle that's threaded through these holes that are on each piece. Now, linking them together with the shock cord lets the two halves of this holster bend and flex, as the name would imply. This is important because it gives the holster the ability to move and flex with you as you bend and move around, which means that it's more comfortable to wear, especially for long periods of time. Additionally, if you undo this, you can run the two halves of this as separate pieces if that's something that you're looking to do. The holster is held to your belt with these two clips. They're tuckable, which means that you can tuck your shirt in kind of behind them back here if that's something that you want to do. The clips also have like a little hooked section in there that holds them onto your belt and prevents them from being pulled off. The clips are also height adjustable by undoing the screws and moving them up and down. You can see we've got a couple sets of holes here for adjustment, so you can adjust the height at which this sits which in turn adjusts how high it sits inside your pants. This clip on the firearm side is also located next to the holster claw or holster wing, as some people call it. And this helps concealment by forcing the heel of the gun closer into your body because it wedges up against your belt and kind of bends it in this way. Now, this is important because forcing it in like this makes it easier to cover with like a shirt or whatever clothing you might have on top. The screws for the claw also double as retention adjustment for the firearm side. So if you look here, if you tighten these two screws down, you increase the clamp and increase the retention. If you back them out and loosen them up, it loosens up the retention. Meanwhile, on the magazine side, this screw here and this screw here control the retention for the magazine. Again, screw them in tighter for more clamp and screw them in out for less clamp on the magazine. Now, for the things that I like about these holsters, and I won't bury the lead here, the best thing about these is the comfort. I've run the Flex Rig for my Shield 45 for like years now, usually for 12 or more hours a day, and it's by far the most comfortable holster I've ever had. Now, comfort is relative, of course, since wearing a holster in general isn't something that I would call comfortable, but it's as good as it gets for me. This flex rig for the Hellcat is just as comfortable, if not more so, since the Hellcat is a little bit smaller. All day comfort is the name of the game here, and the flex rig just nails it. Another great thing is the fit and finish. This Hellcat rig is, I think, my fifth holster from McKinetech, and the fit and finish has been consistently great with each and every one of them. The sides are all molded really closely to the firearm. All of the edges are finished really, really well, all the way around the holster. There are no sharp edges or anything anywhere around here. And the holsters are molded in a way that they sit very tight to the side of the gun. There's no excess width or anything here. They cover the trigger guard completely, and the only extra width that you see is the width that's needed to get the light 
in and out. The Kydex material itself that they use is nice and thick, as you can see, and it's a uniform thickness on both sides all the way around the holster. And Mekinitech offers a ton of colors. This one is the Topo Recon, I believe it's called, and it's kind of like a FDE or desert sand like topographic chart. Meanwhile, the one I have for the shield is the Multicam Black Fabric, if you can see there. This is actually a fabric coating on top of Kydex which is really nice. I like it a lot. It's also worth it to call out that McKenna Tech doesn't charge anything additional for colors or patterns, which is really rare in the holster world, I found. Most companies charge between $5 and $25 for upgraded patterns on each side of the holster. So like $5 to $25 bucks on this side and $5 to $25 bucks on this side, depending on what you're looking for. Another thing that McKenna Tech doesn't charge for is modifications to the holster. So if you need an optic cut or light bearing or like a threaded barrel opening or tall sights, all of those can be had with no additional charge. This is definitely a value adder. as Some companies out there are charging, again, five or 10 bucks each for these modifications. So between the Kydex colors and the modifications all being included in the price, you can save up to like 30 or 40 or 50 bucks or more on a holster. Now, as usual, nothing is perfect. And while I love these holsters, McKinnon Tech is not exempt from this. The main drawback here is lead time. It used to be when I first got them, the McKenna Tech had lead times as short as like two or three days. I remember the first two holsters I ordered on a Monday and they were in my hand that Saturday. Nowadays, lead times are a lot longer, generally around two months, which is how long I waited for this one. One of my friends bought a SIG P365 holster on my recommendation and then it ended up waiting almost four months for it, which is definitely not a good look. From what I understand, McKinnitech is a one-man operation and orders sometimes fall through the cracks. I totally get that. But it's just disappointing to realize that I'm never going to get like a five-day turnaround again. Then again, most other holster companies have lead times. So if that's just something that you're used to at this point, that could be a non-issue. So overall, I think that the McKinnitech Flex Rig is the best appendix rig available right now. It's made well from quality materials with solid features and you won't get buried in upgrade charges too. I think that the very best thing I can say about this rig is that I trust my life to one of these and I have for almost five years now and they're still my first thought when I need an appendix rig for a new gun. But what do you think? Do you run a different rig? Do you swear by another company that you think I should know about? Let me know in the comments. If you appreciate what I'm doing, throw me a like or a super thanks as it helped me out with that infamous algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell on your way out. That's all I've got for you this time. So until next time, stay safe.